quite often when I'm speaking to companies, groups of employees, or at conventions, a lot of times I'll ask the question, how many of you want to increase your income? And invariably, most of the hands go up. Everybody wants to make more money. They want to increase their income. There's a one simple way to do that. And the fastest, best way to do it is this. It's very simple. You just accept more responsibility. Well, what does that mean? Well, you have to do more. You have to do more to earn more. That's bottom line. But there's a lot more to it. That's a very simple answer to it. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you've got this guy who's a heart surgeon and this other person who let's say is a mechanic both do extremely valuable work they both require a lot of education now the mechanic got a lot of their education maybe through a trade school and the heart surgeon got their education in a medical school but there's still the same amount of education there's a lot of skill involved in heart surgery and auto mechanics you have to know how to use your tools properly you have to be skilled and knowledgeable all of that you have to be able to focus and you have to work long hours so why is it that the heart surgeon generally makes more money than the mechanic well the answer is this the heart surgeon accepts more responsibility so there's a joke where the famous heart surgeon takes his car to the mechanic the mechanic goes so why is it you make all the money we do the same things I replace a couple of valves I tighten a few things and she purrs and runs like a beauty and you do the same thing but you make all the big bucks and the heart surgeon says I suggest you try working on a car while it's running and so what does that mean the heart surgeon accepts the responsibility of someone's life in his hands he or she is doing something that literally is a life or death and that person that heart surgeon is willing to accept that responsibility the mechanic it's not exactly life or death yeah if he doesn't tighten a bolt properly and the engine explodes or the tire falls off yeah it can kill someone but you have all day to make sure you checked everything and all that stuff the heart surgeons really accepting a lot of responsibility because on the table during the operation that patient could die and that surgeons willing to accept that responsibility that's the only difference because they're both educated and they both put in long hours and they both work hard so how does that apply to you? Well, you gotta be able to accept more responsibility. For you to accept more responsibility, you have to be able to handle it on a physical and physiologic level as well as on a mental and psycho-emotional level. Because you can't just keep adding things to your plate. What's the goal? To work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, never sleep, never eat? Well, yeah, you'll make more money, but can you sustain that? How long can you go? I couldn't do more than two days without sleep. I have to sleep and I have to eat. And you do too. And it's not sustainable. So how do you do it? How do you accept more responsibility where you're stressed tolerance needs to go up see imagine I employ uh, a dozen people I don't own a large company, large organization. It's a very small business. But we have about 10, 12 employees and, and we have two locations. So I do have a certain level of stress. Now imagine one of my employees comes to me and says, hey, Dr. Amir, I noticed you have a lot of responsibility and not only are you taking care of patients with the other doctors, but you also handle payroll, you also manage budgeting, you manage the hiring, you manage the training, you're overseeing so many things. You're basically the CFO, the CTO, the CIO. <laughs> you're everything. You handle all this stuff. How how about I help you out? Let me take these four things off your plate. If I do a good job and if it frees up your time and you can be more effective and productive, you can consider giving me a raise. What am I going to say to that person? I'm not going to say no. This person just came up to me and offered to accept more responsibility for the same amount of pay. If they prove themselves to me, they're asking, well, you can consider giving me a raise. But if not, I just want to be of service. I want to be helpful to you. That person has probably got a job with our organization forever and ever. I told you your stress tolerance has to be high because if that person's already working, let's say 10 hour days and they're putting in 50 hours a week, I know they're working really hard already. I might say, how are you going to handle these other four things? And what if at that point they're going to say, well, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more efficient in this and this. I'm going to work a little faster here. I'm going to get this done quicker. I'm going to free up two hours a day of my time. And that's when I'm going to handle this. I go, okay, you've got a plan. Is your body equipped to handle that? If that person says, I'm going to stay late, I'm going to work an extra two hours. I'm going to go from 10 hour days to 12 hour days. I'm not going to argue with that either but I want to make sure that person's healthy enough to do it because you've noticed you've seen it you see it in college students all the time they take final exams and the day after the last final exam they're about to start their summer vacation or winter break and they have a sinus infection because they pulled a couple all-nighters and their stress tolerance wasn't high enough to handle the stress that they put their body under and the first two things that go down is digestion and immune system so they start getting heartburn acid reflux and digestion constipation so you've got to focus on increasing your stress tolerance do you want to increase your income 
Yes, but well, you gotta accept more responsibility. Now you gotta train for it. It's like someone who says, I'm gonna go fight. I'm gonna fight in the mixed martial arts. I'm gonna fight in the UFC, whatever it is. I'm training for a fight. And the fight, by the way, is December 6th, let's say. Well, you better train. You're not gonna go cold into that. You're gonna work hard. You're gonna prepare your body. Hopefully you already know and have the skills to do it. And you just have to get a little better. So what do you do? You go for a run. Because if you can run for an hour, a five minute round in the octagon may not get you as winded. Because you gotta increase your stamina. And you have to increase your condition. Well, if you're gonna be working an extra two hours every day, you're gonna increase your stamina. So you go, okay, I'm gonna need more nutrition. I'm gonna be more efficient with my sleep. I need to make sure I'm sleeping in a dark room. Now, I wrote a book called Cracking the Stress Secret, how to turn pressure into power. And it's all about this very thing. It's how to increase your tolerance to stress so you can take the hits that come at you on a regular basis and you can still keep moving forward. So you can carry the burden that you wanna carry and not have it knock you down. So you can take on the challenges that you want, like increasing your income and succeed at it every single time. Because the worst thing that'll happen is you take on more responsibility, you start to shine and your boss is proud of you, but you realize you can't sustain it and it's wearing you down. And now you're having high blood pressure. Now your cholesterol is really high. Now you can't sleep through a night. See, if you have trouble falling asleep, it's a cortisol issue, it's a stress issue. If you keep waking up in the middle of the night, it's a blood sugar issue. Both of those get affected under stress. You need to know how to handle it. If you are able to handle a lot of stress, you will naturally make more money. If you can't handle a lot of stress, you can't make a lot of money. You want to make more money. You want to increase your income, accept more responsibility. But before you do that, increase your stress tolerance. Be able to handle the stress, then accept more responsibility, and then increase your tolerance again. And it's a step-by-step -step leveling up process. And eventually, you have the income that you want, and your life will be great. I hope that helps you. Share the video, like it, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one soon. Take care.